review the challenge task from the last class, we need to set different roles and permissions for task comments. First, let's open Users and Permissions. Find the Partner role and click into it. Under Data Sources, configure the comments collection. Set the action permissions individually. Add New is allowed and View is allowed. For View, choose All Records. For Editing, select Own Records. Deleting is the same as editing. Click Submit. At this point, the permissions for task comments are configured. Now switch the user role to Partner. The current user is Super Admin. We can edit comments on tasks for which Super Admin is the assignee. At this point, the challenge task of comment permission control is completed. In this chapter, we mainly learn how to use workflows to generate in-app message notifications. First, switch the user role back to root. Next, go to Workflows under Settings. In Workflows, we add a new workflow. For trigger type, select Collection Event. Here, choose Asynchronously as the Execute mode. Click Submit. We can now configure the workflow. Before that, go to Notification Manager. We will create a new in-app message channel. Name the channel Task Message. Display name Task Message. Click Submit. You have successfully created an in-app message channel. Go back to the workflow. In the workflow, click Configure. For trigger collection, select Tasks. Trigger condition, after a record is added or updated. The updated field is Task Assignee. Condition, Task Assignee ID exists. Preload Associations Task Assignee. Click Submit. Next, add a notification node. Click Configure. Choose the newly created in-app message channel. Select Users. Use Trigger Variable, Trigger Data, Task Assignee ID. In Message Title, enter Change Assignee Notification. For content, write Task Assignee has been changed. Click Submit. Finally, don't forget to enable the switch in the top right corner to activate the workflow. Once the workflow is active and has been executed, we cannot make further edits to it. Return to Task Management. Change the assignee of Task 04 from Tom to Super Admin. Click Submit. At this point, the workflow notification we configured will be triggered. Click the notification icon. You will see the notification content. Mark it as Read. Click anywhere to close the message panel. If you want to review the message again, simply click Messages again. The notification is complete. Thus, our notification settings are done. Return to Workflow once more. Now that the workflow has been executed, we can check its execution history or view its version control. We can also copy the current version to create a new one. To make our notification more detailed and personalized, we will copy the current workflow into a new version. After copying to a new version, we can modify its settings. In the Configure Notification node, we add Trigger Variable, Trigger Data, Task Name at the end of our message content. Then we say, the assignee has been changed to. Trigger variable, trigger data, task assignee, nickname. Click Submit. Open the current version. You'll see that the original version, number one, has automatically been deactivated. Go to Task Management. Click Edit. Assign Task 05 to Super Admin. Click Submit. You'll see the new in-app notification. It shows that the assignee of Task 05 has been changed to Super Admin. Thank you for your dedicated learning. This concludes the beginner's course on the task management system. We hope you've gained a solid understanding of the basic operations, preparing you for the advanced tutorials ahead. See you in the next section.